ایڈمنسٹریشن منسٹر جناب کیٹی راما راو صاحب فار ریکارڈ ایلیکیشن آف الیون تھاؤزن زیرو ایٹ ٹو کروڑ فار دا منسپل ایڈمنسٹریشن این اربن ڈویلپمنٹ ڈیمانڈز دا ایم ای ایو ڈی ڈیپارٹمنٹ ناؤ لکس آفٹر ون فورٹی ٹو اربن لوکل باڈیز ان دا سٹیٹ انکلوڈنگ دا جی ایچ ایم سی ایز ویل ایز دا اربن ڈویلپمنٹ ایتھارٹیز ان ادر ونگ آف ایم ای این ایو ڈی سر سر دا ٹائم آف فارمیشن آف تیلنگانا سٹیٹ ان جون ٹو تازن فورٹین دے ویر اونلی ففٹی ٹو منسپال ٹیز این سکس منسپل کارپوریشن I would like to confine myself to broader issues of the total allocation of 11,082 crores, rupees 2,517.92 crores have been enmarked for Commissioner and Director of Municipal Administration, rupees 1,476.95 crores for Telangana Urban Finance and Infrastructure Development Corporation, rupees 1,061.84 crores for public health engineering, rupees 13.43 crores for director of town and country planning, and rupees 25.59 crores for MEPMA. Though the GHMC accounts for a population over, of over 1 crore now, the budgetary allocation for this premier municipal body is only rupees 182.38 crores, which works out to 1.64% of the total allocation of MA and UDs. So also the Department of Kuli Kutubsha Urban Development Authority is allocated only rupees 12 crores. HMD is provided with rupees 210.10 crores. Of other allocation including rupees 1,960.70 crore for HMWS and SB, 2,472.35 crores for Hyderabad Metro Rail, rupees 200 crore for Musi River Farm Development, rupees 200 crores for Yadgiri Gutta Temple Development Authority, and 50 crores for Vemulawada Temple Area Development Authorities. To ensure planned development of urban areas, the Telangana government has taken a Patana Pragati program. The allocations are made for construction of integrated wedge and non-wedge market garbage, dump yard, plant nurseries, public toilets, as well as cremation and burial grounds. Sir, coming now to GHMC, sir. As the premier civic body of Telangana state's capital, GHMC is spread over 625 square kilometers area with over 1 crore inhabitants. So however, for many years now, GHMC have been facing resource crunch since the government grants and compensations have been far less than what it had been expecti uh, expecting from the government. So the result is that the GHMC actual budgetary expenditure have been hovering from rupees 3,600 crores to rupees 4,000 crores in the last few years, as there has been a huge shortfall in realizing the ambitious revenue targets, including the grants from the state government. Since 2018 and 19, the GHMC have been raising funds to meet its capital expend expenditure requirements. So GHMC has been virtually left to take care of itself, and it has to raise funds through municipal bonds and loans for financing the SRDP and other capital works. Thus, the GHMC is taking time to complete the constructions of flyovers, road widening works, skyways, foot over bridges, model markets, Charmina pedestrianization project, and other development works in the core city area of Hyderabad and Sikhdarabad due to the resource crunch. So the allocation of rupees 182.38 crores made to the GHMC is much less than what the GMC, GHMC has sought from the government in the state budget. So the GHMC main source of revenues are property tax, trade, license fees, building permit fees. The GHMC is not getting its due share from the state government toward the non-plan and plan grants, property tax on state property, share of motor vehicle tax, 
VAT and other assigns revenues such as professional tax, GHMC's own revenues are not enough to fund the establishment, expenditure and maintenance of civic amenities under its jurisdiction, sir. So GHMC has to fund comprehensive road management program CRMP and strategic road development program SRDP, strategic Nala development programs and storm water drains, Harita Aram, Basti Dawakana, community halls and public toilets. Sir, so if this is the, this is not only the state of GHMC, sir, but other municipalities also of the states are facing similar problems, sir. So through you, Honorable Deputy Speaker, sir, I request the government to kindly make good allocations, not only for the GHMC, but all the municipalities in the state of Telangana, sir. Sir, Hyderabad, Metro Water, Civil Air Service Board also, sir, the allocation of rupees 1,960.70 crores for HMWSSB includes loan assistance of rupees 1,000 660.70 crores for its capital work and grants of rupees 300 crores for the 20 KL free water supply scheme, Sunkashila intake project for Krishna drinking water supply projects for the Hyderabad gets rupees 735 crores extension of water supply and civil services to settlements up to ORR limit is provided rupees 635.70 crore and other development works get rupees 300 crores by way of loans. Honorable Deputy Speaker, sir, however, I may point out that HMWSSB has been seeking assistance from the state government for the maintenance of work or water supply and sewerage network and for paying the power bills for pumping the water over long distance from Nagarjuna Sagar or River Krishna and Yelampari Barrage on River Godavari, sir. The result is that the Hyderabad HMWSSB has no fund for maintenance of work of the drainage and water supply lines and even for changing the manhole covers in the city areas. So the HMD has been given, given rupees 210.10 crore toward loans for repaying the loans of outer ring road and grants of rupees 10 crores for land pulling and only rupees 10 lakh only rupees 10 lakh for taking up developmental activities and no allocation is made for regional ring road projects sir. now going further sir about hyderabad metro rail sir hyderabad metro rail gets rupees 1500 crore by way of loans rupees 377.50 crore for land acquisition for airport metro, metro connectivity rupees 50 crores for multi-model suburban rail transport system MMTS and rupees 500 crores for metro connectivity in the old city, sir. Sir, we have been requesting and demanding to the government for taking up the health old city metro. Still it is pending. I have been repeatedly making the demand for initiating the work for the old city metro, sir. Once again, I make the same request and the same demand, at least road widening work can be started for the metro train. I hope the government would make a note of my request and the demand and consider my demand, sir. Sir, in the current budget to the metro, rail is allotted funds for old city connectivity, five kilometer stretch from Himliban to Falaknuma has been held up for various reasons. Including, uh, including presence of large number of religious and uh, other heritage structures, sir. Sir, it is estimated that completion of this stretch needs rupees 2,000 crores, including rupees 500 crores for creation of right of way, that is land acquisition, road widening, utility shifting, etc., and rupees 1,500 crore as the construction cost. The budgetary allocation for this stretch is rupees 500 crores in the next year's budget, sir.